Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Hello, my management information student class. How are you? This is Dr. Rosmani Tasmin. I'm lecturing for chapter 6, titling Telecommunications, the Internet and Wireless Technology. In this chapter, I'm supposed to explain pertaining the hardware, software, telecommunication, and those uh, related to uh, chapter 6, how the internet works. Basically, the objective of uh, this uh, chapter is to make you understand and be able to identify the principal components of communication network and key networking technologies. For example, the server, the router, the terminals, the telecommunication technology, and so on. And I'm supposed to help you to identify the different types of networks available uh, in ensuring the network, computer networking uh, can function properly. I hope to uh, describe to you also how the internet and the internet technology works and in particularly to support uh, business operation in the e-platform. I have to able to explain and uh, describe to you the principal technologies and standard for the wireless networking, communication and also internet access. And those related to the RFID wireless sensor that exists around the net computer networking system. If we take a look at the current uh, computing and networking technology, well, we would say that information system and technology has been embedded quite dearly in our daily life. Uh, for example, if you uh, take a look at the uh, sports program, for example, a football match at EPL or at Malaysian League, we can see that technology has been embedded uh, into the football games. For example, a game uh, at EPL League between Liverpool and Manchester United. So there has been moments in which uh, Mane uh, receiving uh, the ball to score the goal and uh, he scored the goal actually, but due to VAR uh, technology, so they can review the motion of money and uh, the ball has actually hit uh, money's uh, hand and as such the score by money has been nullified so no goal for liverpool so that has been uh, that has been described as var video assisted referring in football match in which again you see sensor camera technology has been uh, applied in football match in order the refereeing to be fair and more transparent. That is one aspect of uh, networking technology, communication band and uh, IT has been uh, embedded into our daily life. As such, our daily life is very much uh, related and very closely related to our broadband in the form of internet speeds. If you take a look at uh, internet speed at the current uh, level, uh, it is in between transition from 4G uh, towards 5G. What are all this generation means uh, to us as the internet users? Basically, 4Gs are still uh, hovering around uh, 400 uh, megabits per second uh, data transfer like this. In equivalent of human movement, I would say 400 megabits per second is just like the speed of uh, a man walking on the street. However, when we are moving to the 5G uh, data speed, uh, our data transfer is very much faster. That is almost as equivalent as a car moving on the road. So you imagine 4G uh, at 400 megabit per second and 5G at 1 gigabit per second, it is the difference between a man walking on the street and a car moving on the road. So, it's quite fast. Internet speeds also uh, can uh, be seen at the Wi-Fi 
hotspot communication. However, Wi-Fi uh, has a radius reach capability of uh, 200 meter distance, which is considered a small uh, space area. Currently in Malaysia, we have uh, internet speed provided by many providers. For example, Unify, which is based on fiber optic connection cabling. So Unify is operating at around 100 megabits uh, per second. So that is a current uh, speed of a service uh, on internet delivered by Telecom Malaysia and Unify, just for general knowledge. Currently, 4G is still dominant in our uh, internet connection. So here is the outlook of the 4G's antenna. In particular, you could see uh, on top of a building, uh, on top of a communication uh, center, at shopping center. Uh, these are all 4G's related antenna, which is uh, installed in many places uh, of our daily life. Why then bother from 5G? Uh, why then bother from moving from 4G to 5G speed communication? Why it is needed? Of course, uh, the higher speed uh, communication bandwidth uh, is needed uh, due to the uh, public needs of the faster internet connection. For example, in future, uh, you have heard about the autonomous driving in which the car uh, or a taxi uh, can move or drive by itself from destination A to destination B. And when uh, this kind of application like autonomous driving uh, has been implemented, so it really need a very fast uh, bandwidth of communication uh, in, in terms of uh, internet connection. So as such, at 5G, so we're going to have uh, around... 20, gig, uh, 20 gigabit per second, that is very fast speed of communication because autonomous driving requires a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, size, uh, big size of communication uh, in terms of uh, broadband uh, speed. And that is why we need 5Gs because future application all requires faster internet communication. So, internet speed uh, is one thing of uh, the communication technology uh, today. However, without the networking, which is the connection between hardware uh, to the uh, networking lines and to the other users, that, that is quite useless. So, if we see a networking and communication trend in Malaysia and uh, the rest of the world, basically, it is uh, at the... A trend of convergence in which many devices are being uh, converged into a single devices. For example, your smartphone has been uh, converging many devices. For example, a video recorder uh, on top of the phone itself. Uh, then you have uh, many uh, other application on your smartphone. For example, camera. Uh, uh, Google uh, Google Map uh, mapping, which is uh, on the standalone device called navigation. So those are part of the convergence of many devices into a single, uh, I would say, equipment. For example, smartphone. On top of the convergence, uh, we need to have a, I would say, fast uh, broadband communication. Broadband communication, for example, in uh, uh, in Malaysia. Our average speed about last year, uh, reported by the Sun, it is about uh, 7 megabits per second. This was about last year. However, if we compare the broadband uh, communication speed in our neighboring uh, uh, country, which is Singapore, uh, its uh, broadband uh, uh, high speed is at 55 megabit uh, per second. So that is uh, six times faster uh, in comparison to broadband communication speed uh, in Malaysia. So broadband wireless, that is another uh, key component for networking and uh, technology that we need uh, to have this uh, wireless uh,
communication so that it can uh, perform a more portable services. Telecommunication and uh, networking uh, technology depends very much uh, upon uh, computer network. Computer network is basically a network of uh, computer terminals in which connected together and being linked by uh, normally a server. And this server uh, uh, performs a function as a uh, job scheduler router uh, for each of the community, uh, each of the computer to communicate between each other. So within the computer network, uh, there are many components that making it work. For example, you need to have the client and server computers. This is basically client and this basic server's computer. The network, uh, the network interfacing cards in between uh, one uh, one uh, server uh, and uh, one terminal. They have uh, cards. The connecting medium, the operating system, the hub switches, routers, and so on. And it must be also supported by uh, software. Uh, to define the networking, for example, like Novell and uh, Microsoft uh, networking and so on. These are a typical construct or system architecture for a simple computer network. Let's take a look on uh, its uh, basic constructs. So, computer network uh, start with, well, let's see, this is the personal computer user and this is uh, the NIC the network identification card and this uh, standalone computer will be communicating uh, will be communicating with the switch right and this switch uh, will also connecting to other terminal user for example this second pc and all these switches are basically uh, control the switching turn between personal computer number 1 and personal computer number 2 switching in the form of which one uh, which terminal can communicate first uh, with the server after this guy and then they switch to this guy uh, this uh, personal computer communication and they are basically taking turn to switch to server and this server also has switches in order to deliver the uh, request by the uh, users uh, to be connected to router and a router is the main device uh, which is uh, connecting to the external uh, network uh, for internet out there which is the global uh, networks of computers so router serves like a, a traffic light uh, in which the job request uh, will be uh, sent to the bigger network communication out there whether to stop to get ready or uh, to go uh, to fulfill the request by the users. This is uh, another typical uh, construct for network in large company because uh, just now uh, this is for a single computer network like uh, me connecting to UTHM and connect to uh, connecting to the bigger world of internet. However, in the big companies, for example, like Sony, uh, for example, uh, like Petronas, they have very much larger uh, networks uh, in terms of their own company internally. So, for, uh, for example, uh, one big company like Petronas, uh, in their headquarters, they have hundreds of uh, LANs or local area network like this. And that LAN itself uh, is actually a network of many computers. And this uh, network of many computers connected to the other network of many computers. And uh, as such, uh, it uh, is basically a network of a large computer network. For example, network at uh, uh, procurement, a local area network computer is connected to local area network in the engineering department. So, and this uh, local area network and engineering department is connecting to the other local area network and perhaps human resource. So, as such, all of these departments have their own lens and all these department lens are connected to each other. So, it forms uh, as networks 
in a large company like Petronas. And within the network of larger companies, normally they have the very powerful uh, servers uh, to host the website, uh, the um, corporate uh, intranet, or Petronas connecting to other Petronas, for example, Petronas Malaysia uh, connecting to Petronas, uh, for example, uh, Sudan. So that is a corporate extranet. And the this network and server serve as a back end system uh, to host all the communication needed by Petronas. And on top uh, of that, normally large companies they have the mobile local area network because engineers managers are moving around, so they need to have this more mobile local area network. And big companies normally have meeting based on uh, video conferencing. So between uh, Petronas Malaysia and Petronas, uh, for example, uh, Sudan, Petronas Vietnam. So they uh, may have meeting by using merely video conferencing. And this network also hosts uh, a very big uh, telephone network, uh, including wireless uh, cell phones. If, it, uh, if we take a look on the corporate uh, network infrastructure, so these are their system architecture. For example, at Petronas, uh, normally we start uh, as server here. These are the main server hosting perhaps website, uh, intranet, uh, and uh, extranet connection. So the three servers, one, two, and three. And these servers are connected uh, to their main internet service provider. For example, uh, Cellcom, DG, and uh, Maxis, so those are category for internet service provider. And this internet service provider is linking all the wireless uh, local area network, perhaps by Petronas engineers in the field. And these are connected to their headquarters as a corporate wired local area network. And normally it is at the main uh, office or headquarters. And all these uh, portable and local area network are connected by RSP, Internet Service Provider, to the Internet itself, which is the networks of computer networks. And these Internet are connecting to other wireless uh, ISP pro provider uh, to be connected to other pro Petronas branches, for example, internationally. And, uh, uh, and all uh, this also supported by telephone system, be it uh, so, so cell phone or smart devices and all these are bounded together by this ISP to form the corporate network infrastructure for the whole Petronas. What are the key digital networking technology must be available to ensure telecommunication and networking in uh, current to this business? Well, the key uh, one of the first component is the client server computing environment in which one server are serving many users in the form of terminal PCs, smartphone or uh, perhaps uh, personal computer at the headquarter uh, or at the design center for example. So client is uh, requesting work uh, or requesting a computing task to the server and this server is distributing the job to the rest of the network, uh, be it uh, in the headquarter or those uh, computers that need support in the field. So this is what they call distributed computing model, in which compute, uh, computing power is being distributed to other resources in order that the server is not uh, that fully overloaded. And this is this has uh, many architecture system. Some of them in the form of centralized mainframe computing. Uh, some of them are on the smaller scale of server. Some of them are on the independent uh, server that is existing in the remote. So the in, the internet itself actually the largest implementation of a client server computing because. The internet has been known as a network of computer networks. 
how does this telecommunication technology work in between terminal, server and the other user at the other end of the world? So they employ uh, this packet switching technology. Packet switching technology is a method to uh, slice the messages into small parcels. So the big uh, message is actually sliced down or broken down into pieces and sent uh, along the uh, communication line and then assembled back uh, to the receiver as uh, the whole message at, uh, as it was sent by the sender. So this is the uh, illustration of how the packet technology works. For example, let's start here. So this is the original message that uh, we send. For example, it is a picture uh, with a text. So it will be uh, broken down into three uh, sections uh, like this. So this uh, one a message broken down to three pieces. They are all being sent independently over the internet, over the local area network, or over the, the telecommunication channel, and uh, sent to the receiver here. So each packet, packet 1, and packet 2, and packet 3, they have their own message number and destination to be sent to the receiver. When the receiver receives at the end of the world uh, to read the uh, message in the form of picture and text so uh, the receiver will the receiver computer will assemble back the uh, message in the form of packet 1 packet 2 packet 3 and it will match uh, in the same shape it is being sent by the sender here so in such a way that only the uh, receiver can receive the full message and this technology uh, has been uh, proposed by uh, Paul Barron. Uh, he is the pioneer that developed packet technology to be sent from sender to receiver as it is being shown here. That is what they call packet technology or packet switching. Another key component in telecommunication and uh, networking technology, they call it as a uh, TCP IP uh, protocol and its connectivity. TCP means transmission control protocol. IP means internet protocol. So this just like a controller uh, gateway to send your message, uh, communication between uh, sender and receiver. So do, do, you, do you notice that when you make connection to a computer, for example, like in the uh, library and you connect it to the wall, and each wall uh, socket uh, on uh, for local area network it has this kind of number for example i just jot down uh, it, it here 183.12.1894.11 these are actually the tcp number to identify a unique location of which uh, internet port that you are connected uh, with like in the library or in uh, those uh, other places. So this is to identify who is who for, trace, uh, for traceability in communication. So it involves uh, department, uh, it Im involves uh, many uh, layers, for example, application layer, uh, transport layer, internet layer, and network uh, interfacing layer. So, for example, this is uh, your computer and you want to uh, connect to your friends uh, out there uh, in the overseas. So, you send your message. There is a firewall uh, checking your messages and then send over internet. And by having this TCP IP address number, only then your friend can receive your message and read your message. This is the illustration for the two computers, for example, uh, computer A and computer B, you and your friend. And this is your net notebook, and this is uh, perhaps your friend's uh, PC uh, somewhere there in uh, overseas. So in order to send email, for like Gmail from your computer, 
So your mail uh, need to use certain application or software and then your email will be transported uh, by certain communication uh, service provider, brought it over the internet and go to NIC, Network Interfacing Card, and your network interfacing card of your net, uh, notebook will be communicating with network interfacing card uh, of your friend's personal computer here at the other part of the world. And your message uh, will go through internet, uh, being uh, transported, and only application at your friends like Gmail will read actual email that you send from your notebook here so that uh, your friend can read the full document of uh, Gmail that sent by you. So this is how it works at the sender end and this is at the receiver end as computer B. So that is their transmission control protocol uh, based on uh, TCP IP reference model. Another part which are uh, uh, essential for communication networks are basically signal. We have to understand signals, uh, digital uh, versus analog signal. Right? So in order to uh, understand this, later I will explain uh, what uh, does it mean by modem and types of network available, for example, local area network, Ethernet, Ethernet based, uh, client server or peer to peer, uh, WANs, uh, wide area networks, metropolitan, campus area network. There are many types of uh, local area network, but most famously, people use LANs, local area network. Okay, just now I explained to you, uh, I mentioned about modems. So, a modem is a device uh, to uh, convert from digital signal to the analog signal and then uh, convert back to digital signal. Why we need to have this conversion? Because uh, modem is uh, equipment to modulate and demodulate signal. In the current uh, in, uh, internet communication technology or communication technology that we have, your computer, for example here on the left, is basically a digital signal device. So it communicates digitally. Digitally means that the signal is only uh, ones and zeros. It is high current or low uh, current. It is just one zeros and one zeros. However, when your uh, notebook communicate with your friend's notebook, normally this kind of telecommunication will go to telecommunication cable like those on the pole next to the road. These are basically te telecommunication cable which is based on copper wire. So when this your communication signal goes to this cable, it is communicating from digital signal to uh, analog signal at this uh, communication cable on the uh, telecommunication pole. So in the, uh, on that uh, communication cable, it is working in the analog uh, signal. So when it uh, when your uh, uh, when your signal goes to your friend's notebook, right? Again, from this uh, telecommunication pole cable, the signal will be uh, re-convert uh, to the digital uh, signal so that your computer can read at the end the message that you send. So that's why you need the modem or modulator or the modulator equipment because in the mode of communication between you and your friends there are medium in which uh, it works based on analog system normally uh, like this copper cabling uh, communication cable at the communication pole next to the road So what else we need uh, to ensure the communication networks uh, is working properly? So we need to have a uh, transmission uh, media or cable right, in the form of uh, many uh, types. For example, twisted uh, pair wire, coaxial cable, uh, for, ex for, like, uh, for example like this. This is coaxial cable right, at the back of your television, at the back of your uh, connecting your antenna or uh, 
uh, twisted pair wire like this on top right side a fiber optic cable uh, it's like this on the bottom right side right it is a single bit cable inside there are many fibers uh, 